Tyler, I would imagine, uh, given what happened and how the season went last year, you have maybe a little bit different perspective on a lot of things, but maybe coming into spring and knowing that you're healthy and getting a fresh start, what, I guess, how would you describe your perspective on this season, given everything you've already endured last year? Yeah, um, well, I'm healthy. That's, that's the big thing. Um, <clears throat> I've been really full go since like uh, Thanksgiving. Um, so right around that uh, Reds Fest time, like I was kind of ramping everything up and you know, last year was kind of bummed with injuries, but uh, we're healthy, we're good, and hopefully we're looking forward to uh, this season with no injuries. How much more exciting does it make it this, this spring knowing that you're healthy? Yeah, I mean, I think just, just to compete again. It's been, I guess, since like late July since I've really played. Um, and I know I got, I was on and off the DL some last year. So looking forward to obviously praying that hopefully it is a, a healthy season ahead. Um, so I'm excited just to be like, be around. Like, and people always talk about it, like being in the clubhouse, like, when I was rehabbing, I would be coming in early and didn't have to stay for games. So it's good just to be around everybody again and be involved. Tyler, is there anything, I mean, granted, most of what happened to you last year was were flukes that really couldn't have been avoided by conditioning or training, but is there anything or any approach that you took this off season to prepare for this year? Yeah, uh, the big thing was talking because I wear Evo shield, they're, they're catching gear and uh, really at the end of the season, getting in contact with the guys up there and um, flew up to Chicago and went to like their headquarters and sat down with everybody and kind of game plan some stuff, just some modifications through the gear. Like, I don't know if it was a flaw or not, like that's to be determined. Like nobody ever knows, like it was a 101 mile an hour pitch that hit me right in the collarbone. I don't know if anything would have stopped that, um, but we went in this off season, we've got some extra padding and the padding is thicker. Um, so we made some adjustments and I feel confident in what those adjustments have been. So um, the chest pattern feels good. I mean, obviously you won't really know until we get in the games and take some foul balls as crazy as that sounds, but um, blocking, I've been blocking and there's been no issues. So um, that's a positive. So first day of spring training, and obviously right now everything is on paper. Uh, things are likely to change. But going in, how do, how do you feel about the setup with two veteran catchers with you, what your role and their role might be, and, you know, going into the season and then managing the, the, the young pitching staff that you have collectively? Yeah, no, I, I, I look forward to uh, – I've, I've, I've spent time with Kurt – Everybody knows how great he is. It's, it's good to have him back. And I'm excited to work with Luke. Uh, there's a guy that I work out with who's with Cleveland. He said a bunch of positive things about him. Um, so I met him for the first time today. And we're all three looking forward to spending time together. And like you said, like our goal is to make a pitching staff as good as possible. Um, I know they come from, some, from experience and they have a lot of knowledge. So I'm going to be learning from them a lot. And um, yeah, whatever the season holds, like I know the 140, 150 game has been has been talked about, and I know I might not be catching as much, and I, I know that, um, and I'm obviously confident in those guys that they're still going to do great jobs and get more at bats. That's a big thing. Like David called, and I've had conversations with Nick, um, so that's that's something that um, will be will be an adjustment, um, but I'm looking forward to it and DHing, playing some first. Like I'm looking forward to seeing how that goes and being in the lineup more. <clears throat> There's always optimism around a new season. What are your general feelings about what this team can do this season and as spring training starts? Yeah, um, well, the big thing is just youth. Um, I'm curious what our average age is going to be this year because you kind of look at our core foundation. Um, it's a lot of young guys, and I know there's more young guys coming who are very talented. We're going to help grow uh, and be a part of this team in the future. So um, we're all looking forward to it. We're all very close and um, we're looking forward to the season. And I think the big thing from last year is health. Like let it, let everybody be healthy. Let us play 162 games together and go out there and just play well together and figure out ways and just compete and uh, build this team for years coming. 
Uh, I know you're from Georgia. There's this uh, talk that Hunter said earlier that they're talking about um, maybe emulating the Smoltz, Maddox, Glavin trio. Do you see any of that with the core of this pitching staff? I like that. Um, what, the, the two righties and, and, and then the lefty. Um, I think our guys throw a little bit harder than them. I grew up watching uh, the Braves, and I know those are three Hall of Fame pitchers, so there's nothing against them. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you look you look at those three guys and what they did last year in their first season, with how much they accomplished and how they finished on the stretch shows a lot. And now that they've kind of gotten their feet wet, they know that they belong, like it's going to be exciting. They're like big uh, jump year two. So um, it's going to be fun to be a part of. Sure, this is a hard question to answer about yourself, but I was asking Hunter and Nick about the idea of them being foundational pieces for what this team is trying to do going forward. Do you look at yourself, you, Jonathan, those pitchers, do you look at yourself, Tyler, as one of those guys that the team's building around to become what they want to become here in the near future? Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping so. I, I believe in myself, and I'm hope, hoping to be a part of this team for a long time. Um, it's been great, and we've got a bunch of young guys, like we said. I mean, the pieces are starting to align. And, you know, the De La Cruz's are coming, Marte, McLean's. Like, there's some other pieces that are coming. And you look three, four years down the road when these guys are in our shoes now, once they have a couple years in their belt. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, this is year three for me, and I'm still trying to figure things out too. Um, so don't have all the pieces, but – um, we're excited to see what the, the future holds and seeing what we can do. Tyler, the outside voices, we'll, we'll talk about how young the team is, and some people will, will view a team as too young, not that you don't have capable veteran players. But when you hear the outside voices say, yeah, they're young, but maybe they're too young. What, what does, as one of those four pieces, what do you guys, how do you, turn that message into something that you can get behind that you can rally around that you can lead guys with yeah. um just keep saying all the negatives um just continue to prove people wrong uh i know there's a bunch of people doubting us and we are young but we are very talented and let's go out there and let's shock a lot of people and i know we're it's a very community sorry i don't know it's, there's a lawnmower going right up right outside um but everybody in the clubhouse believes what we can, what we can do and what we're capable of. Um, so that's a big thing is just continue to keep talking the, uh, the negatives and let us continue to prove people wrong and go out there and have fun. Tyler, kind of piggybacking on Joe's question there, why is David Bell such a good fit for this team as a manager? Yeah, um, so I know 2019 was their first year, and that was my first big league camp, and to see how people have kind of gathered around him and how he's taken that locker room over. Uh, he's somebody that, that we trust day in and day out, and we know that he's got our backs no matter what. Um, we believe in him, and he believes in us, and I think this is going to be a big, hopefully, breakout year with – I know we've made a lot of moves in the past, but I feel like this is kind of a year that there's not going to be a bunch of moves at the deadline. Um, so I feel like we're going to come together as a team, and I feel like this is kind of the first time that – we're going to have some guys sticking around hopefully for a long time and um, let us just continue to play well. What has he shown you about handling adversity? Uh, I think it's just his tone. He, I feel like there's never any time that uh, he never, I don't know, like there, there, he's very mellow. And I feel like there's a, there's a great time that he just, he never, I don't know, he, he never doubts us. He always believes in us day in and day out. No matter if we're going good or going bad, like he's he's always going to have our backs. I know you can't speak. Yeah. Uh, Sorry. One, one more. I, I know you can't speak for him, Tyler, but as close to Vado as you are, what's your sense of where his head is coming into this camp? You talk about proving people wrong. Uh, does does he fall in that category too of maybe feeling like that at the start of the season? Yeah, I feel like that's the million dollar question. Um, I don't know. I've I've stayed in contact with him throughout the off season, and he hasn't really given me much, so I, I can't answer that for him with how where he's at. Um, but I think he's going to be out here soon, and I'm excited. He's seemed very dedicated. I know he had plans to go to the World Cup, and he he canceled those trips because he said rehab was going so well. So um, we're excited to 
I'm excited to see him, and I think this could be a big breakout year. And hopefully it's not his last. I know that's – you never know in this world, um, but I think he's going to do big things this year. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks, sir.